Um, and then you've got the religion. Now, the, as I said with the Japanese, basically Taoism is shamanism. It's just nature worship. And when they took the new um, philosophy, philosophy of Buddhism, what do they do? They turn it into nature worship. I mean, basically Chan Buddhism was so heavily, you might say, warped or shaped by the world it came into, that it doesn't bear much resemblance to the original Theravada or even the Mahayana Buddhism. It's a new form, which is basically another expression of the integration of the world. No separations between mind and matter or anything else. No afterlife. So it's non-actual, pre-actual. So their thought system is very, very ancient. And Do they have spirits and things like that, or is that not? Um, well, they do. They have many spirits, as do the Japanese. But whenever we use, we use our Western concepts of spirits, we immediately fill them in with what we think of, you know, Tinkerbell and that yeah. kind of stuff, little things floating around. Yeah. When I looked at Japanese religion, when, when you have kami, which you have everywhere, they're not, they're not fairies. They're not... You have ghosts and things like that. You have ghosts, yes. But, you, but they're different because they're not human-like. They are power. The kami are a force of power. They're like electricity. And the spirits in Japan and in China, they have fox spirits and they have all sorts of spirits. The world is teeming with spirit and spirits, but they're not... Um, Miyazaki in his films tries to portray this, um, Totoro and so on. They're not like our mm. uh, fairies and brownies and, and, and so on. They're a different order of things. So they're not human and they have power and they're all around us. We're constantly, everything, you know, is filled with them. This cup, when you make a porcelain thing in China or Japan, it's filled with kami but um, it's, not, it's not a fairy living in it. 